We hear the negative about Cape Verdeans, but days like today need to be highlighted. The Cape Verdean community standing up and saying no to violence. The Leadership Forum's focus today is on violence and crime in the Cape Verdean communities and how it's affecting our Cape Verdean culture and in Cape Verde. He said, you know, we need to work with, with people who are in gangs now, but more than that, we need to work with the young children. We need to work with them before they get involved in gangs. We need to really provide for them the kind of opportunities and the kind of alternatives that give them a different pathway. Holidays are even harder. My father sheds tears and he's a tough man and seeing him cry just breaks my heart. Moments such as graduations that are supposed to be joyous are overshadowed by, brother, by my brother's death. Knowing that someone should have been there but is not because they were taken so soon from you just makes these joyous moments at times heart-wrenching. Even harder is looking at my nephew and niece, knowing they can only remember nor their father through pictures. My nephew looks so much like his father, it's scary. My nephew was only three, and my niece just a mere three months when my brother took his last breath. But you can make a difference because your own education and the value it has for you as a person is one thing, and that's important. But the value it has for your community and the difference that it makes for so many others is so important and so critical. And you have that opportunity uh, to do that. So I urge you to pursue your education, pursue all of your potential, and then to recognize your obligation to be part of your community. I just wanted to thank everyone that came out to show the CVSA some support. This event was not an event to promote a party, to promote advertising. It was an event to make a difference to the society and of our community. For everyone that attended this event to give back to our communities and show what we really are and who we are inside. Billions of produce produced nationally. Now millions of bees have abandoned their hives. If they disappear in four years, human race will die. That's a quote from a famous scientist, Einstein. It's logical Very to end. great event, uh, something different. Students actually you know, uniting together and trying to create change in Boston, Brockton, the Beth, just in the world in general, you know what I mean? Anti-violence. Um, Beautiful night, man. To anyone with half a mind, man, it's horrible. Where you think you're gonna run and hide? It's possible for us to combine and stop these lives, protect all lives, wherever it resides, whether plant, algae, bacteria, fungi. That's right. It's time for us to vocalize, because if the bees die, then we too and die. This leadership fund was just to create awareness in our communities and how violence and crime is affecting our communities and is contributing back to our Cape Verdean society. And Kenny approached me with this idea at first, and I was antsy about it, but then as it came along, I thought it would be a great idea to make a difference in our community. Hopefully next time when we do Leadership Part 2, that will be even bigger and better and will make a greater impact in our community. I linked up with the president of Cape Verde Student Association, and it's been a lot of negative, uh, what do you call it? It's been a lot of negativity around Cape Verde Student Association, so I wanted them to do something positive. And then we came up with this idea, student, you know, leadership forum, which is a, uh, this is a, you know, the first one, but we plan to do several others in next semester. Just create something positive on campus. Just want to thank everyone that came out: Tim Bless, Dana Molafari, Anita Cabral, the panel, and I just want to for everyone to make a difference in the community and look at who we are and how they will make a difference. To even start with the little kids and to contribute back to our Cape Verdean culture. We've walked through our kingdoms, tearing it into pieces like eyelash razors blinking in non-belief. We make our own crowns rust and crumble every night, just off of pure ignorance of not even knowing or realizing our own potential. But someday, someday when the clouds part and we part ways with our old partial ways and leave the guns by the waist and about face with the dark days, we'll be kings again. We will be rulers and banish all those weak fools who can't understand their own royalty. And when the kings have come and the kingdoms come, it will finally be unity.